Hello YouTube, and thank you for joining my channel. This is um, a paint party that I did a couple of weeks ago. It was a kids paint party and I just wanted to share some of the decoration ideas that I had and just kind of show you what it looks like. So this is a snack table, cake table that I made. Here's a welcome sign for the paint party. Um, here's a little snippet video of the kids um, while they're painting um, and just kind of showing you what it looks like um, for the party. They were so cute. They had these colorful aprons on and um, the paint barrettes on. So I just thought it was so cute and just wanted to come on here and show you what everything looks like for a paint party, um, very similar to an adult's paint party as far as the setup, um, but just not the colorful aprons and brunette. <laughs> so as you can see, we are painting Noah's Ark. I did go over the scripture and the storyline of Noah's Ark to where they would pretty much understand. I did a and a and a lot of the kids were able to answer questions and just really get into the painting and understand the pieces behind Noah's Ark. Um, so here's a cake table that I did. Um, as you can see, it's quite very colorful. The background um, is a, a banner that I got from Amazon and I'll link the description below. Some of the snack ideas. Um, that I got as well that I made uh, with the kid with the twins actually so they were able to help me make those snacks um, and so here's the paint setup you have the easel the canvas the fan for fast drying um, and so this is what the setup looks like as far as um, the before and so I wanted to really pinpoint some of the, the decoration ideas that I had in order to elevate the cake table and the snacks. I use these boxes here they and the um, paint here. And then what I did was use shoe boxes um, and I wrapped them in plain paper. I used this craft paint from the craft store. Um, I got, you know, large and small bottles because I throw paint parties, so I already had those colors. Um, and so basically what I did was have, get some shoe boxes, wrap, tape down some paint, uh, some white paper, and then I just use my paint bottle and I just squeeze a bottle and really hard and then out comes the paint. On the front side, I wanted it to be a little bit more simpler. Um, and so what I did was just um, let the paint drip down the front of the paint, uh, front of the box. Um, and so it didn't look as, as cluttered as the size did, but I did want it to show how I did this and it was so simple, so easy and very, very affordable. Um, so it was a great idea. So as you can see, under the cupcakes and under the cake is where I put those boxes. Here is um, a, just a great decoration idea. Um, I had paint cans and just put um, table cloths coming out of it to make it look like the paint is coming out and right now i'm showing you how i did that so basically i just take some tape um and wrap it around itself so that it'll be a become double-sided tape at that point as you can see i'm doing that now and then i just stick that at the bottom of the can and um when once i do that a couple of pieces I'll stick at the bottom of the can and then um, as you can see here just right at the bottom uh, you could put several pieces and then I use a tablecloth and then I just put the tablecloth and in, inside um, here I'm showing you how I made the hook um, I'm using um, this hook 
pla clear plastic hook that I got from the dollar store. Um, as you can see, those hooks do attach to the wall. So what I do is poke a hole in the can, use some glue, um, uh, my glue gun and I glued it directly to the can and now I'm just showing you that um, you know just hanging the hook up um, that is already attached to the can and so just kind of going through this part um, and making sure that it's stable and very sealed to the wall right now I'm going through and cutting the tablecloth in a motion um, as you can see it's kind of like a wave motion that I'm cutting the tablecloth in to give it effect of as if it was splashed um, splashing down so I thought that was really cute a very um, minute detail but definitely something that can just bring everything all together so just going in a wave motion cutting the tablecloth um, and um, I'll show you here once I finish how it looks as far as um, mat kind of matching similar to you know just the paint splatters and everything so I thought that was very cute though actually my sister's idea uh, she she thought of that and I just implemented it um, at the last minute so I thought that was very cute um, very different and just wanted to go ahead and show you this here so as you can see I finished cutting it out and I in a wave pattern and then basically just open up the tablecloth a little bit so that that wave pattern can show where um, at the bottom of the tablecloth of course, you can do uh, larger waves if you want to really accentuate the fact that it's, you know, a splash effect. So I thought it was so cute and I just wanted to show you that. Um, and so here's, you know, the full view of what it looks like, uh, the paint, you know, um, cans. Here's what I got from the dollar store. Um, as you can see, those are the tablecloths that I got from the dollar store, the very colorful tablecloths, um, very affordable, a dollar. I have, those are poster boards in different colors, um, similar to matching the tablecloths. Um, and I got a foam board from the dollar store. Uh, here's, like I said, um, some of the snack details that I used, I got those wooden sticks from the dollar store. Um, I also got the hooks, the clear hooks from the dollar store as well. So I use all of this here for those decorations. Like I said, you know, it is a very affordable, very simple decoration. What I'm going to do with these poster boards is cut out and use this as a stencil, cut out this and um, make the paint splatters um, in in this using this stencil in each color I will cut out um, and we'll have just kind of like paint splatters over on the table and you know paint splatters on the cake table so I thought that was a, a again just a very affordable great idea um, this stencil I got from Hobby Lobby from a previous paint party, but the color was not in use, so I just got the poster boards. Here I'm showing you the welcome sign that I did. So I used though that post, the foam board that I got from the dollar store. I cut it out in a paint palette shape. Um, I thought it was a really cute idea. I just kind of came up with it on the fly. So something that you can use as well. So just use a foam board, cut it out in a paint palette form. Um, as you can see, I kind of already started doing it because I was so excited. I forgot to press record. So that's why you're just now seeing it. But I wanted to show you. So here I'm using poster letters to stick onto the foam board. And so I put those on first. 
make sure that I spill everything right, make sure you have everything aligned. And then what I did was paint on top of the sticker letters, whatever color, combination, and so on. And so I'm so sorry that I did not press record, but I promise I will remember to press record next time. Now I'm going to talk about these colorful dots that I had to kind of look like as if it was wet paint. So what I did was cut out using those poster, colorful poster boards, cut out a circle. And then what I did was use a very same color of the poster board. It's a very thick kind of paint and just paint it, put that on the top of the actual poster cutout um, and then let that dry and so that's gonna dry just like that all right so here we go so as you can see I have the sticker letter down and now I've painted on top of the sticker letter now that I now that the paint is dry I'm going back to peel off the sticker letter from the foam board and that is revealing the actual letter itself and so I thought it was a really nice idea again very affordable welcome sign all these materials are from the dollar store um, all I did was put it um, let it make sure that it dries off before you you know do anything else and so I have a couple I I had that and I had another letter I wanted you to see to make sure that you get the full picture of exactly what I was doing so and you could do this through pretty much anything again this is just a, a welcome sign just to let everyone know um, at the door where they're entering in so yeah I thought it was a great idea I loved it um, I had some extra time on my hands so I just made this here um, for the paint party so really really cute and what I did was basically outline the edges in a gold bronze color because I thought the edges were unfinished um, and kind of um, not not presentable so I outlined the edges and the circle in a bronze gold color just to finish off the whole um, the whole look of the half so here again the materials that I used the poster boards remember I told you I cut those out using a stencil paint so the splatters here are some of the other decoration ideas, which is the paint cans using tissue paper, colorful tissue paper, using some of the paint brushes that I already have, and then setting the paint splashes under it to offer the table some color. So I hope you all picked up on some decoration ideas. Um, Please let me know if you have any questions. Please comment down below if you'd like me to review anything or go over anything again. Thank you all so much for being a part of Pain and Praise. Please like, share, and subscribe. Definitely tell your friends and family to come here and pick up some ideas or just watch me paint. Um, again, thank you so much for being here and being a part of this channel. Again, if you have any additional questions or just comments that you uh, want me to read, I will definitely be responding and keeping up with you all. So again, thank you so much for just being here and allowing me to kind of go over these just a few ideas.